How to make chicken adobo? Adobo is the rock star of Philippine cuisine. It is without a doubt the most popular dish in the Philippines. Here's how to make it. Are you ready? Here's what's on the recipe. Two pounds chicken thighs, one pound potatoes, one half cup vinegar, one cup soy sauce, one half cup chopped onions, one tablespoon minced garlic, two bay leaves, one half tablespoon salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one half tablespoon brown sugar, one cup water. First thing I do is trim some extra fat and skin. I leave a little skin for flavor. Next, I prepare the marinade. The garlic is minced and the onions chopped finely. I add the chopped onions into the meat bowl. And then the minced garlic, one half tablespoon of sea salt, one half tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of pepper, one cup soy sauce, one half cup of white vinegar, two bay leaves. Mix it well and make sure all that flavor and spices get absorbed in the meat. Cover with saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about an hour. In the meantime, I start peeling potatoes and then cut, 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 and cut them up. Then I mince some more garlic and cut some more onions. Man, that's a lot of cutting, isn't it? Somebody give me a break and help me out. So now the meat's been marinating for uh, about an hour. I'm going to take it out of the marinade and let it drip in this little pan. And then I'm going to pat it dry with some paper towels. Next, I fry the chicken in an iron skillet. I let it fry for about three to five minutes. Then I turn the thighs over. I let them fry for about the same time as the other sides. Now I rescue the thighs and take them out of the hot skillet and transfer them back into the marinade bowl to let them cool off. I leave about two tablespoons of uh, oil and start sauteing the garlic. I let it fry until it turns light brown and um, I can smell the garlic aroma. Then I drop the onions in there and let them fry until they caramelize and become somewhat transparent. And now it's time to add the potatoes. I fry the potatoes so that they will acquire some kind of firmness so they don't fall apart. And for the winning touchdown, the thighs go back into the skillet, along with the marinade. Ooh la la, those thighs are looking really delicious. Next, I add a cup of water. Wait till it boils, and then turn down the heat. Put a lid on and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Goodness gracious, that looks really good. Let's see if the potatoes are done. Oh yes they are. The whole dish is finished. Now it's time to make a plate. Man oh man, this is really making me hungry. I'm serving it beside some uh, red and brown jasmine steamed rice. I really enjoyed eating this mix of red and brown jasmine rice. It's very delicious. Yeah, put a little extra sauce on that chicken. And here it is, the grand finale. Oh my word, I am salivating.